The message is why they say death is our sure as life, and yet so many take it lightly. Do you just want to die? The Bible tells us in Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 11. Say unto them, as I live, said the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, for that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn you, turn you from your evil ways, for why will you die, O house of Israel? The Bible tells us that God is in love suffering. That God do not want anyone to perish, but all to come to repentance. The question is this. Why do you want to die? When there is life in the Lord Jesus, today, I want you to see why you should not die in sin. And I want you also to see there's a life in Christ Jesus. There's a life in Jesus for all who believe. For Jesus said, I am the life. In John chapter 5, verse 26, Jesus said this, For as the Father have life in himself, as they give it to the Son to have life in himself, God gives life to all who call on his name. His Son brought life to us through his death on the cross. God is giving life to all. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, for the wages of sin is dead. For the free gift of eternal life is through Christ Jesus our Lord. So there's a life in Christ Jesus for all who believe. A free gift of eternal, a life free of hope in heaven. All is through Christ Jesus our Lord. The way of life is simple. Jesus says in John chapter 5, verse 25, very, very I send to you. The hour is coming, and now is here. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they shall live. The judgment is on the way. The dead and the life shall stand before God. Today, hear his voice and answer in order for you to have eternal life. Amen. Happy New Year. God bless you, man. The position of life is sure. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 12, He had the Holy Son of life, and he had not the Son of God, had no life. So you see, life starts with Jesus and also ends with Jesus. Christ died for our sin. So why do you want to die in your sin? You see? All we need to do is to look unto the Holy Son of God in order for us to have everlasting life. Jesus says, if you believe in me, you will not die, and you live forever, and that is so true, because that's what the Bible teaches, and that's what Jesus says in John chapter 11, verse 25. So you see, the process of life is glorious. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 22, but now being made free from sin and become servants of God, you have a fruit unto righteousness and everlasting life. Never ending life, free from sin, free from pain, free from hell. The fruit of the Holy One is everlasting life. Now, the rejection of this life is also one everlasting hellfire. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 13, verse 46 Then Paul and Barnabas was born and said, it was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. For sin that you put it off from you, and just for yourself unto of everlasting life, lo, we turn to Gentiles. When the Jews reject the gospel, knows Apostle Paul turned to the Gentiles. Today, are you rejecting everlasting life? You will spend your eternal life in hell. Now, friend, why die? Why do you want to die in your sins? Please turn to Christ Jesus. Listen, when you hear his word being preached, do not hide in your heart. Let his Holy Spirit of God convict you of sin, of righteousness, and the judgment to come. Now is the time that you turn to God before it's too late. For the Bible says 
in Acts chapter 16, verse 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you shall be saved. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah.